Genesis 9. And Elohim blessed at Noach and at his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish hath the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moves upon the earth and upon all the fish of the sea. Unto your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you as all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall you not eat. And surely at your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man. At the hand of every man's brother will I require at the life of man. Whoso sheds man's blood. By man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of Elohim made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And Elohim spoke unto Noch and unto his sons with him, saying, and I, behold, I establish at my covenant with you, and as with your seed after you, and as with every living creature that is with you of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth which is with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. And I will establish at my covenant with you, Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more a flood to destroy the earth. And Elohim said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do setteth my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remembereth my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between Elohim and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And Elohim said unto Noach, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Yepheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. Noah awoke from his wine, and knoweth what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, 
a servant of servants shall he be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Shem, and Ke'anan shall be his servant. Elohim shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Ke'anan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. <laughs>